There you are. Our first few interviews with Jakaro's friends went well, believe it or not. We're going to start with some antique smugglers from the Exchange, see if the Revenites have gone for any other Rakata tech. Have you found any traces of Colonel Derek or Darth Arcus? Not one. Apparently, the Revenites know a thing or two about staying hidden. The Order of Revan. <laughs> My family has even more pull than I thought. You're related to Revan? You never heard that story? Bastila Shan, Revan's great Jedi love? The name made it all the way down to me, even if the Force didn't. Look, Revan was a wild card, and his crazy cult of followers is bound to be the same. Highly trained bravado aside, we're up against some long odds here. You sure you still want to be dragged into all this? I follow the will of the Force. As long as I'm needed, I'll help. It's as simple as that. Just like Master Zhou always said. All right, I'd better get back to Lana and Jakaro before they... do anything. I'll get in touch as soon as we get something concrete. Stay safe. All right, all right, we'll be there right away, Jakaro. Just don't tear the limbs off of anything. Or anything else. Hey, it's good that you're here. Our friends are eager to get started. Get started with what, exactly? Colonel Derek, Darth Arcus, and the Revanite friends. Since your operation on Manan, Lana's uncovered a few more Revanites who've infiltrated the Republic military. I've been slicing the traitors' communications and tracked the messages back to Derek and Arcus. They're in a hidden facility on the planet Rakata Prime. That's our target. If you've found their base of operations, we may be able to end this threat before it goes any further. Let's hope so. The messages I've decoded. That cyborg technology you ran into on Manan was just the prototype phase. On Rakata Prime, they're in full production. They're taking pieces of the Starforge and implanting them into their own people. The Starforge? It was a Rakatan weapon. A giant self-sustaining factory that ran on the dark side of the Force. Revan destroyed it 300 years ago. The pieces of debris are still active, though. They self-repair and even self-replicate under the right circumstances. With that technology grafted to their bodies, the Revanites become much harder to stop. It sounds like the longer we wait, the more of these cyborgs they'll have. Let's get moving. Gladly. Jakaro's freighter should get us onto the planet's surface undetected. We'll plan our attack from there. I can't wait to see the look on Arcus and Derek's faces. Do we have a plan ready? I don't know if it's fair to describe it as a plan, necessarily. I've done a bit of scouting. The Revanites are camped in the Temple of the Ancients, an old ruin nearby. We've gotten this far without being detected. It's time for you to go in and make some noise. What? This isn't what we discussed? It's suicide! I demand that you detach me this instant! What kind of security do the Revanites have? They've convinced some of the local Rakatan tribes to patrol the areas around the temple for them. A truly barbaric lot. The Revanites themselves are guarding the temple grounds. They're fully armed and paranoid. Wonderful. We'll be keeping an eye on things from the ship. As long as we all stay sharp, we'll get this conspiracy shut down permanently. May the Force serve you well.
If you're going to get past them, you'll have to give them a show they'll never forget. <laughs> than we suspected. Structural plans now. It's not looking great. 
Your only option is to pass through the conscription center, dead ahead. The cyborgs ahead are in some kind of standby mode. They'll activate as soon as you enter the room. Be ready for a fight. Plastic sensors. Lana, could you do a quick perimeter check? I can't tell if these contacts are real or not. Right away. All right, we don't have much time. We can't risk any of the tech in that conscription center falling into Imperial hands. Overload the console. It'll fry everything inside and kill the cyborgs before they have a chance to wake up. We're not going to murder people in their sleep, Theron. We'll take our chances. We've got a Sith breathing down our necks, crazy cultists all around us, and you want to take chances? I won't let fear guide our actions. Do we have something to be afraid of? Apparently not. I'll add the sensors to the list of things on the ship that we can't rely on. We'll contact you if anything else comes up. Arcus and Derek must know it's over for them. They've fled to the rooftop where they have a shuttle waiting. We'll, we'll shoot them down if we have to, but we really need the chance to interrogate them. Get to the roof! Hurry! Please try to headbutt them with your own skull this time. Let's go. Your plans are finished. The conspiracy ends now. My, but we have a very high opinion of ourselves, don't we? This project would have accelerated our plans considerably. Losing it is regrettable, but it will not stop us. You've done a fair bit of damage, it's true, but the project isn't a total loss. After all, you've helpfully delivered yourselves for slaughter. You've infiltrated the Republic and the Empire. Raised an army of fanatics. Why? What are you trying to achieve? We have a plan. You're not a part of it. That's all that matters now. <coughs> you and your simple-minded beast will have the fight you came for, Colonel. Let's get on with it. Derek and Arcus fought to their last breath. We won't be getting any information from them. Copy that. Blast it. I must agree with my master. They're far more trustworthy as corpses. 
I sense something. We're in danger. Multiple sensor contacts. Capital ships are dropping out of hyperspace. No IDs. One of them's coming in hot. Argus and Derek were valuable allies in my cause. But their deaths will not delay what is coming. That voice. It's him. Revan. My infinite army could have achieved so much. But I still have other weapons in my arsenal. The Republic freed you. Why would you betray your rescuers? The Republic is too weak and unfocused to do what must be done. To achieve my goals, all distractions must be swept aside. My followers are legion. My ranks grow every hour as more and more people see the truth of the galaxy. The Emperor couldn't break me. Even death could not stop me. I will finish what I've started. And you will not interfere again. They're powering up weapons! Get out of there! Now! We can't reach your Jakaro ship. Take the shuttle. Theron, they made it. I knew it. With the amount of fire Revan's ship was laying down, I wasn't optimistic. It's good to see you. <laughs> oh no, I'd nearly forgotten. Several of my internal components were still aboard. The ship is all right, isn't it? The ship is fine. Come see for yourself. There's something we need to talk about, actually. It truly is a relief to see you safe. I only wish we had more time together. What's going on? Are you leaving already? It's for the best. Theron and I learned some troubling things after we escaped Rakata Prime. Jakaro took it better than I thought. You told her yet? I think it's best if you do the honors. We'll meet again soon. I'm certain of it. She's pretty confident for someone with a bounty on her head. Are the Revanites putting out bounty contracts now? Not directly, no. It's an Imperial contract for murdering Arcus. Under any other circumstances, she would have gotten a promotion for that kind of thing. They also arranged 12 separate death marks for Jakaro. It's a new record for him. And do you? Disavowed rogue agent apprehend on sight. Pretty tame compared to the others. The director must have stood up for me. If you know the director, couldn't he tell you who's behind this? I checked. The evidence of my imaginary crimes came in from our eternal security division. All very well forged. He'll keep looking, but we can't risk more contact. The Revanites haven't been able to touch you yet. Your record is still clean. But it won't stay that way if you're seen working with us. Lana, Chikaro, D4, and I are all going off the grid. We need to stay hidden if we're going to continue our investigation. No contact, period. What can I do while you're in hiding? There must be some way I can help with the search. There is, actually. The Revanites will be watching you, so do what you do best. Travel the galaxy, achieve impossible things, and make it hard for them to keep up. The busier you keep the Revanites, the easier it'll be for the rest of us to slip through the cracks and find their leader. I'll do my best to provide a better example than their fellow cultists. Wouldn't hurt if a few of them had second thoughts. All right, I better get moving. The faster we start running, the easier this will all be. Good luck to you. We'll send word as soon as we have something. And then we'll see what this Revan guy is really made of. So much.